hey guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we're going to be talking about my experiment rather i'm going to show you what the experiment what's going on and that's in my hobby greenhouse i have posted a video a few maybe but two weeks ago i believe about the experiment i was going to try to do in my hobby greenhouse and today i'm going to give you guys an update as to what's going on with it if you're new to the channel, hi, welcome. My name is Samantha. And today we're going to be taking a look at that experiment. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it below so you can go back and uh, view that video. Um, so I'm also going to be uh, bottling up the herbs that I was drying. And that's in the same video of the herbs that I harvest from the outside and I, I put it in my basement and I wanted to get all that dry so that I have enough for the holidays and beyond. So today we're gonna take a look at all of that. All right, let's go. Okay, so this is inside of the greenhouse. I hope I'm not singing too loud through my mic because the greenhouse is enclosed, but this is it. So what i did a few weeks ago maybe like i believe it's about two or three weeks ago i took some of my kale out of the garden beds the raised bed outside and i brought it in here because i wanted to see how how it was gonna do inside of the greenhouse with the temperatures we get in here during the day and then at night um with that temperature so during the day the greenhouse holds a lot of heat and at night it cools down so it stores the heat during the day and at night it gets a little chilly now some days it depends on how cold it is it gets cold in here and depends on how warm it is outside it gets really hot in here now if you know hobby greenhouses a lot of times it's made out of this um polycarbonate so it gets really, really hot. You know what I mean? So, um, and again, at night it doesn't, it, it stores the heat for in the evening when it gets chilly or when it gets cold. But my experience at night, if the outside is cold, in here is cold too. And during the day when it's hot, it's hot. You know, it doesn't really give me that balance. That's what I think. Okay, so I wanted to do this experiment of putting vegetables in here to see how it do. And you know what? The kale so far, it's doing okay. It's been a little bit of struggle. It's been a little bit of struggle, but not bad. It's doing pretty good. So I know that the kale is going to survive in here. The tomatoes, on the other hand, look at that. From the time that I put these tomatoes in here, it was really small. And now it's grown up. And I think that's because of the heat that we're getting during the day and during the evening it cools down. So the, even though it cools down, it doesn't really bother the tomato so much. Um, so you can see it's already flowered up. So I know I'm gonna get some tomatoes from these plants. Prop, even when it you know it gets a little bit cooler it might still be good temperature in here to give me those tomatoes so um i would like to say that the experiment was really really good but here's why i'm gonna put a little bit of doubt into this because right now during the day Although you get temperatures like 65 or 70, tomatoes can still survive in those temperatures. Now, it's not going to be doing its best self, but it can still survive. So in the greenhouse, just basically gives it a little bit of, you know, like that little bit of more heat to tolerate, you know, to keep doing what it, it does in the uh, outside of the greenhouse. Now, this would have been a great experiment if I had done it, let's say, in the hype of December's weather, like during the winter, December, January. If I had done something like this and put it in here, 
that's when I would have been really able to test the strength of this greenhouse. Would it be able to hold up or not? You know what I mean? So um, was it successful around this time of the year? Yes. During the winter season, I don't know. So maybe I need to put something here um, during the winter season and see how well it um see how well it tolerates the you know the warmness during the day and then the cold at night and maybe just maybe um i don't have my thumb on it yet but i think i'm gonna put a heating cable in this box and maybe put some seeds in like january or late december and if those seeds germinate and come up then i know oh i could plant something in here but if it does not um if it does not thrive to um at all or to its best or or just a little then i know in here is getting really too cold to tolerate um or to put uh plants in here during that time of the year so maybe maybe i'll give this experiment another try again in in december so Anyway, I just wanted to come out here and show you guys this because I really wanted to see if it would have worked. And so far, it's doing pretty good. So maybe again, maybe in December, we can try this again. Anyway, so I'm going to go now and I'm going to take care of the herbs that I was drying. Um, I never got those bottled up and I know everything is dried pretty well because it's been there nicely covered up for about two weeks already okay <laughs> anyway let's get to doing that okay so we've been drying this for some time now so what i'm gonna do is just i'm basically gonna put it in my jar Okay, we are done. So this is the four herbs that I just um, bottled up. They're dry. It's sage, rosemary, mint, and thyme. Now, these are completely dry. So I can crush them up really fine with my hands, or I can use like a food processor and make them really like powder if I wanted to because it's really dry. 
Now, some of them I leave a little bit of stems in the bottle, like the thyme. I kept a little bit of the, um, the dry stems. Now, over here, over here is where I have my mess. These are all the stems, and I'm now starting to like clean it up. I just roll up the towels, so I'm gonna just roll up the towels and shake them out. Uh, and I'm gonna get rid of the stems because I do have fresh herbs uh, in pots upstairs. Now, you don't have to throw away these stems, you can keep them because these stems are really good in um, like soups and when you're cooking chicken, like baking chicken and turkey and stuff like that, you can still use the stems because, um, especially in soups, because the stems do have good, um, good taste, good energy, good everything. I'm looking for the words, <laughs> but uh, you can keep the stems to put in stuff like that. Um, in this case, I'm not going to keep them. I just wanted to get the dry herbs. Now, because I have so much herbs um, in my kitchen upstairs already, I'm going to just store this away until I'm ready to use it. Now, again, when I'm ready to use it, I can either put it in the fruit processor and uh, dust it to powder, or uh, I can leave it the way it is and just crush it with my hands and take it out and use it as I go. I don't have to um, make it powder. That's only if I really wanted to put it in something that that I don't really want to see it in. I just want to taste the flavor, but I don't want to see it in, you know. So I was I'm very glad that I came down here and get this done because it was sitting here for like it's about two weeks or a little bit more than two weeks. And I keep saying I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it done, but I haven't gotten it done. So today was the day I'm really, really happy that I got it done. So I'm going to clean up my mess and then we're going to go back outside to close out this video. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. So I have to come back outside and sit down to end this video after doing all that. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys something really quickly. So a few days ago, I was feeling a lot of pain in the bottom of my foot and I keep wondering why, why? And for some twisted reason, I thought it was my weight. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to lose some weight because my foot is hurting. Now, a lot of people don't talk about their weight because they're either embarrassed or they feel it's none of your business or <laughs> for different other reasons, nobody talks about weight. But for me, I acknowledge when I gain weight, when I lose weight, whatever the ordeal is, okay? I'm proud. Okay. So I decided that I needed to see a doctor because um, I needed to see a foot doctor because the pain was getting worse and worse. And I was like, oh, my God, I may not be able to stand up and do anything. Anyway, it wasn't so much bad news. I think it was just the amount of pain that I was feeling. I went to the foot doctor and find out that I have some sort of um, condition called uh, plantar fasciitis. Now, I don't know if you guys know what that is, um, but it is something that is caused by standing on your foot all day. Like, most of us stand on our feet all day, but I do a lot. I'm, I'm, when I'm at work, I'm standing. And then when I come home, I'm out in my garden or in, in my house and I'm doing something. So it's like, it's almost like I'm on my feet 24 seven. Anyway, so that's being on your feet for so long so many days, you know, I guess that's how it develops, this plantar fasciitis. Okay, so what they did was, you know, they rubbed some stuff on my foot and bandaged it up, and I've been hopping around here for the past three days. I've been hopping around, but anyway, 
I feel like it's going away because it's not as bad as it was before. So whatever they did with the little bit of gel and the little wrap up and stuff like that, it's doing a lot better. So I'm very, very grateful. I just thought I should mention it to you guys because, you know, just in case you're like me, you're on your feet all day and you feel symptoms like that, you know, you kind of get an idea as to what's going on with your feet. Okay. All right. I just wanted to put that out there. Anyway, I hope you guys get a chance to do something amazing today, something beautiful, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye for now.